In 2021, flowers were the largest source of foreign exchange earnings for Kenya, earning the country approximately 934 million US dollars. After the COVID-19 restriction came down, many growers have now learned a lesson that dynamism in terms of transportation for their products is now a recipe to make the business successful. Right now, most of them are dwelling on other forms of transport like Standard Gauge Railway and of course the maritime business to make sure their products reach on time without delays. The Kenya Flower Council has now stepped up its competitiveness in the wild market by tapping into other forms of transporting flowers. The Standard Gauge Railway will now play an important role in easing the load factor for growers in Kenya. The flowers will be transported via refrigerated railway containers to the port of Mombasa for onward export to Europe. I think we have weathered the storm, I would say. Uh, the demand has been going up every day uh, from August last year, and this gives us a lot of hope that we can get to 100% of our usual um, cells. So better days are ahead. Farms have recalled up to 90% of the workforce. Um, we are now focusing on sea freight uh, to augment the challenge we have on air freight capacity and also the cost. And then the, the current prices, we can say that uh, in the markets are very, very good. At the Primarosa Flowers Company, located in one of the prime highlands in Kenya, business is back as usual. And according to the management, transportation has been one of the most challenging areas. The issues with transportation. Um, SGR is a very good viable option because it's a fast, convenient way uh, for roses to be transported to Mombasa. Uh, at this point, our roses are being transported by road to the airport, and that can sometimes lead to damaged goods uh, because of the, of, of the condition of the roads. Um, so, you know, I think new and innovative ways for us to, you know, transport roses, it's definitely something we should be having a conversation about, and I think that's why it was you know, it took, it took the main focus at the recently concluded exhibition. So it's something that we definitely want to support and it's definitely something that, uh, you know, we as a, as a flower farm, as an exporter and a grower are looking forward to seeing if this is a feasible way for us, uh, you know, to transport flowers. Currently, the floriculture sector is facing logistic challenges due to a rise in freight charges and an availability of cargo plants. We were used to less than $2 a kilo. Uh, pre-COVID times. Uh, in the height of COVID, uh, these prices increased to between 5 and $5.5 .5 per kilo. And these are now uh, costs of transportation which were now being borne by the client. So whereas when you had a client who was willing to, you know, take even three or 400,000 stems in a week, is now saying, no, I'm, I'm not going to be able to take more than 150,000 because firstly, your airlines don't have the capacity. And secondly, I'm being charged $5 a kilo, whereas I'm used to less than $2 a kilo. According to the Kenya Flower Council, transportation of fresh produce by rail is also better for the environment due to lower carbon emissions as compared to road and air transport. Nick Mudimba, CGTN, Yandarwa, Kenya.